Welcome to DroneCast. For public safety drone operations to succeed, they need to overcome two major hurdles, navigating complex regulations and building robust training standards. In this highlight, we'll hear from two industry leaders who are tackling these challenges head on. First, Charles Warner reveals the revolutionary breakthrough that slashed FAA approval times from a staggering 11 months just down to one week. Then Greg Reverdio explains why the standard Part 107 certificate is only the first step in how agencies can raise the bar on pilot safety and proficiency. We have been working on getting COAs, which is a certificate of authorization, which has taken 11 months plus to get approved. So now it's more of a self-certification to where the companies will define their performance parameters so we can use that to determine how the CONOPS fits from a department. That's the basis what made the change. Now, so what's changed? Well, since then, you now send an email with four documents to an email address at Flight Standards, and they review it. It's a much simpler CONOPS. You answer a questionnaire, you indicate how you're gonna operate, and you do a very brief CONOPS, like three paragraphs. If you're spending more than one page, you've taken too much time to submit it. And then if you're going to do any protected avoid technology, there's what's called a CMD DAA form that tells about the technology itself so they can look to see what does the technology say it can do, what's your comps look like, and they compare it. And then you have to submit a public safety organization letter just validating you're a public safety organization and the functions that you're going to do very briefly. And then the other thing you want to send in is your PDL, your public declaration letter that says you're a public entity and that in most of these places already have public declaration letters. But if you don't, we can help you get through that process as well. And so then they review it. And so something that was a very extensive, a very long con ops, it would take consultants to have to write the con ops and all this other stuff that would be submitted now can be done fairly easily with these four documents. So let's talk about the change. What has happened? Well, we now have proof from at least two agencies, one at 200 feet and one at 400 feet, both being approved in one week. The Part 107 certificate is the certificate to be dangerous out there. It gives you enough to go out and know the basic rule. I mean, let's face it, when I compare this to the man aircraft side, and then you have to go to a flight school in order to do the flight training, right? So Part 107 is the ground school. It gives you the theoretical knowledge. It doesn't mean that you know how to operate the drone necessarily. So it gives you enough to get to that next step. The next step is going to be dependent on the type of operation that you do as a public safety agency. If you're somebody who is in a SWAT team, for example, the training is going to be different than if you're a firefighter. And so that training has got to be catered to the type of operation that you do. And NIST has done a great job. We haven't talked about NIST yet, but NIST has done a great job at creating standards that can be applied, I think, across the board on the public safety side of things. 